New Tennessee State Library and Archives building, 165,000 square feet and three stories tall. Inside, there are more than three stories. Behind these walls, you'll find the history of Tennessee. So how many rare books are in this room? There are only about 800 books in this room. But Chuck Sherrill, state librarian and archivist, gives us an exclusive tour of the building. He says this was a much needed upgrade. We had a lovely old building on Capitol Hill that was special built to be the Library and Archives in 1953. And the public parts of that building were really beautiful, but it was way too small for the collection as it had grown over the last 70 years. A collection including 360,000 books and journals and thousands of maps and records. We estimate that if we had to put everything on one big shelf, it would stretch for 26 miles. And this space provides access to unique pieces of literature. The rare book room represents some of the fine uh, books in our collection. This library began in 1853. Libraries are essential to democracy that people need to be able to look at the documents created by and for their government in order to understand how government works and what government is doing. Cheryl has been involved in the project since the 90s, but planning didn't begin until 2005 when money was allocated for it. Money, he says, went to create a number of experiences the public will enjoy. This is one of several interactive maps in the lobby that guests can come in and use and see the differences in the boundaries and counties throughout the entire state of Tennessee. And technology is at the forefront of the design. A huge feature of this building, a very important one, is our robotic retrieval system. What the operators are doing, they're scanning materials in. Every book has a barcode in it. Myers Brown, the Director of Archival Collection Services, explains how it all works. We have around over 8,000 bins that will carry the book materials, and we've got over 700 shelving units that will hold the archival materials. It's relatively new in the archives and library world. Um, we're the only one in the state of Tennessee that operates a system like this. You couldn't have a human climbing up into the system, pulling books, uh, pulling our cobble materials and then bringing it back to the station. The space is climate controlled and the system allows for a more efficient process. So what will happen is a, a patron will send a request through. It comes to the terminals here in the operator area. An archivist on duty will look at that request, then release it to the, uh, to the robot. The robot will bring that shelving unit or that bin to the workstation. They check it out, put it on a cart, and send it down to public services. We should be able to get the request and get it into people's hands in less than 10 minutes is, is our goal. The books then end up in the Grand Tennessee Reading Room, filled with the most frequently used items. These include over 10,000 family genealogies, which are in the back section there. And then in this section, all of the Tennessee collection, which is um, histories of Tennessee, and books about Tennessee counties grouped together. Cheryl says he can't wait to see the younger generations enjoy it. My dream is to see this room full of a class of eighth graders uh, all working on their family history project or Tennessee history project and um, just enjoying this big nice space and learning at the same time. And all involved in the project say this building is part of a bigger purpose. We have an obligation to keep these things available you know, well, in, well beyond our lifetime for the next generations uh, to use and benefit from these materials. It is our uh, mission given us in the Tennessee Code to preserve and to make available the documentary history of Tennessee. It's kind of funny to think about robotics and documents from the 1800s, but they have been brought together in this building. Using technology for the preservation of history, in Nashville, Alex Corradetti, News 2.